I feel like as women, we are on this lifelong mission to find fabulous makeup products, and there's so many options out there. We need it to make us look good. We need it to not break the bank. We need it to have fabulous consistency, not break out our skin. Like there's so many factors that go into that. And I'm so happy that I found Shine Makeup earlier this year because it gives me all the things that I need. It doesn't break the bank. The consistency is my favorite out of any makeup that I've ever tried. The people behind Shine Makeup are absolutely amazing, but I will say the best part about Shine Makeup is I know that everybody that I share it with is going to love it just as much as I do. Welcome to the I Am Mom Summit. We are here with Shine Cosmetics. Um, my name is Stacy Clark. I am a beauty ambassador for Shine. And today, this is your wake up to makeup session. What is wake up to makeup? Um, today we are going to wake up the makeup industry. We are also going to wake up moms to what's inside their makeup bag. What messages are we supporting? And also a quick and easy five minute wake up to makeup face tutorial for you. And with me I have Chandler Taylor. She is the co-founder of Shine. And this is Darcy Wild. She is the managing partner. So Chandler, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. I am a mom of four. I have two girls and two boys. I'm madly crazy in love with all of them. They keep me so busy, you know, between practices and homework and everything, but I, it's my passion. I absolutely love, number one, more than anything, being a mom. Um, I met uh, my husband here in Utah, and I came for school, and we met, and we ended up staying. Didn't expect that. I'm originally <laughs> from Boise, Idaho, um, but I got my microbiology degree, so to own a makeup company is like crazy. <laughs> but I was thinking about it. We just had our, our birthday, our official birthday, uh, about a week ago. Yep. And uh, I was kind of thinking, oh my goodness, how did we get here? Like how, yeah. how did this happen? Because five years ago, if you had told me I was going to own a makeup company, it couldn't have been like farther from the truth. I would have thought <laughs> like, oh yeah, and I'll be an astronaut or I'm an astronaut. Like that crazy. So it. anyway, it's been the most exciting most fun, most stressful uh, adventure possible. And I've loved, I've loved it. Uh, but it definitely wasn't something I had planned. You know? Well, we're so glad you did because we love it. It's been fun. It's That's been so great. fun meeting all of the women and getting them involved, yeah. like the ambassadors and uh, sharing our message and seeing it grow. It's, it's been life-changing from yeah. our end and it's been fun to see it catch yeah, fire. It's so great. It's been fun. I love it. <sighs> all right, Darcy. Um, so I'm a mom of okay. three. I almost said four. <laughs> what? Same. No, okay. no announcement. My baby's 12. I'm not having another one. <laughs> take one though. You have beautiful babies. <laughs> no. I'm definitely past the point of babies at my house. But um, I'm actually about to be like in the stage of I could be a grandma, which it's is like true. freaky. But um, so I have three. I have a, my oldest daughter. She's 21. She's about to get married. And then I have a daughter who's a senior in high school and then a little guy who's 12. And he, my kids are everything to me. But I found that I was never fulfilled being a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. I, not, I always say, like, I am a good mom, but I'm not a good, like, uh, homemaker. <laughs> like, I, um, and so I have always been involved with all kinds of business. I've owned several small businesses. I've been a marketing executive at a software company. And... But I always say, like, my one role that I always come back to is I just love to be a cheerleader. Like, yeah. I was a cheerleader when I was younger, <laughs> and I love to um, find ways to make people feel good about themselves. And so this has just been a really great and exciting adventure for me to be involved with women and moms, like, you know, who we just all need to be lift, uplifted all the time. And so she's perfect at that. And yeah, it's a great is. description. So it's, <laughs> been a real, it's been a really fun ride. That is so, so great. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So Chandler, you say that this is the farthest thing from what you had planned. So how? How did you get going? How did Shine come about? It's kind of a funny story. Uh, and again, like because it would have been so far from where I thought I'd go, the story is really, uh, I mean, it wouldn't have come about any other way. But um, I was with my dear friend, Hope Robinson. She's the other co-founder. And uh, she's sick today, so, or she would, she would love to be mm -hmm. here. But uh, we were at a dance competition. Both of our girls are similar in age, and they were uh, dancing, and we were getting them ready and getting their makeup on. And uh, she uncharacteristically like grabbed something out of her daughter's hand. And it just looked really awkward. So I, I kind of gave her a funny look, and she's like, 
So um, after the girls went backstage, uh, we sat together and she, I said, what was that? What did what'd you do? And she said, I didn't want her to read it. And it was a mascara that um, her little, you know, nine-year-old was going to grab and read. And it, I'm sure a lot of everyone, it's a great mascara. It's, I'm sure a lot of moms use it, but it's not something you wanted the, the title of the mascara wasn't something she wanted her to read. You know, it's that age where they're just starting to read and blossoming. Mine was seven and doing the same. I would have done the exact same thing. Like yeah. they just, they're reading everything they can get their little hands on. And it wasn't something she wanted her to read. So we, we sat down and we kind of went through the rest of our bag. And it was shocking. Uh, the, ni- the names and the titles that were on the products that we use all the time and we're using on our little our little daughters, yeah. it was very eye-opening. And then the more time that we we spent and we kind of talked to other moms and we're thinking, it was it was even worse than we thought. Like, I'd say the mascara was tame compared to what yes. we discovered after that. that. Yeah, like right. it just yeah. kind of was was more shocking even than I realized. So then we we started talking, we've got to change this. Like, this is crazy. This shouldn't it shouldn't be like this. It doesn't need to be like this. Yeah. It doesn't have to have these crazy sexual names to sell a product. Yeah. So we um, talked to our husbands, and they were on board and super supportive. And we uh, we came to like we sat in a meeting. I distinctly remember the meeting where we we thought, okay, we can't do this by ourselves. Who do we need? And actually, cheerleader is a perfect description. <laughs> like Darcy, yeah. and it was unanimous. Hope and I had worked with Darcy on a few like community school projects and different things and and just knew her vision her ideas her ability to to make things awesome so we pulled in Darcy and it was from there it just even grew better we were stronger and amazing it was fun and our husbands again like they've just helped so much but what we did then with the product is instead of um, using sexual names like not everyone but a lot of companies use we picked power names, strong names, things that women can put on and feel good, like courage, fearless. It's been so fun to watch other ladies post about or or read how they're feeling, and and they'll say, "I I put fearless on this morning," and yeah. or I I put my courage BB cream on, and that that's yeah. a big deal to me. Like yeah. that's when it hits me. Like okay, everyone else is getting this message, and and you are you're gonna post it. Like I'm putting courage on. Like it's kind of a tough day. Here's my courage, right? Yep. Like, here I go. You know, yeah, we can do this, mm-hmm. and that's so much better than the other things we could be putting on because they are they're subliminal. But mm-hmm. you know, if you've got colors in your drawer, or your makeup bag, you're looking for the right color. You're reading them. You're seeing. You know, yeah. but wouldn't you rather be reading intent and honor yeah. and uh, unstoppable than yeah. you know something else? So, anyway, it was a crazy beginning. You know, a reason to start, but it was. <laughs> It was fun, and it's been really exciting, but it was been great to work with. Yeah, so when Hope and Chandler reached out to me and um, kind of shared their idea with me, I like, I loved it. I had teenage daughters at the time. Uh, we worked for about three years before we launched the company on developing our products and what our message was going to be and our mission, like what we really wanted to accomplish. And so when they approached me, it, it spoke to me because my girls were using those products, you know, and, and then it... You know how anytime you focus on something, you have a real heightened awareness of it. And I really started to watch how makeup is even marketed to us, yeah. and um, we're we're constantly be, constantly being told what we're not as women. Rarely does a makeup company tell you and celebrate something you are. Absolutely. They're telling you what your flaws are and how they're going to fix them, mm-hmm. and then what they want to do is cover that cover them up. And so, like. From even the development of the product, our focus from the start was like, we want our makeup to show, like, if you've got freckles, rock those freckles. Mm -hmm, We want them to be seen. We don't want you to feel like you have to cover up who you are. We want to celebrate who you are. And like Chandler said, it's the most exciting thing to talk to women from all over the nation. We have a cute Allison Lilly back in Virginia. And (laughs) she, like, I love to see her rock her lipstick on her Instagram, you know, and then we have... Carol in California that talks about our BB cream all the time. And it's just, it's been fun to gather. It's not just a makeup company and that's not our focus. We're not just here to be a makeup company. We're here to change the way women feel about themselves and to really um, celebrate confidence and success and the beauty that each of us have. And that's, we have really gathered a community of women 
and it's been it's just been it's exciting been fun. and fun. Mm-hmm. So so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love that. All right, so waking up moms to what's inside their makeup bag and what messages are we supporting, you know? Yeah, exactly like Hope and I had that day, that epiphany of, oh my goodness, what's actually in here was very eye-opening. So I think it would really be shocking for other moms if they kind of dug through their bags and saw what was in there and then the message that they're supporting and then, you know, that they're putting on every day or if they're like Hope and I, that they're putting on their little their little girls. Now they're, like you said, it took three years to get here, so it's... <laughs> You know, they're bigger now, but it's hard. It's a it's a crazy world, and we're getting hit with a lot of different messages. And just making sure that the message you're supporting is something you really feel like. Absolutely, yeah. something that Darcy touched on too, of just um, makeup companies wanting to either change things or cover things up, or how we can fix you. Um, maybe more of a message on like what you already are is beautiful, and let's mm-hmm. enhance that. Right. Yes, you know. So um, when we first launched our product, my sister-in-law made a comment, and it's just stuck with me. She's like, I, she has a daughter who's just 13, just starting to experiment with makeup, and she said, I gave her fa- the color Faith. And she's like, it, you know, it's, Faith is just a pretty shimmer, like just mm-hmm. perfect for a 13-year-old yeah. girl who's starting to play with makeup. <laughs> and she said, Darcy, I love that like when she runs out, she's going to come to me and say, Mom, I need more faith. Yeah. Like, or I need more courage or whatever. And like, um, I know it sounds cliche. It really does. I understand people are like, what? It really makes a difference. Like, um, uh, we, have some, we have some video of moms, like all of her saying like, it makes a difference. Like one day I had a have a really rough conversation at school with my kids' teacher. And it's like I was putting my courage on, you know, like yeah. getting ready to go out the door and and in my mind I'm telling myself, you are courageous. Like it and I I think so many times, especially today, like we are supporting things we don't even realize. Yeah. It's like Chandler said, like when they came to me and said it to me, I was like, I don't use any makeup that's like that. Mm-hmm. I got home and opened up one of my compacts and read the names, and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like yeah. these are horrible. Yeah. Like I would never even say these words out loud in public. Right. Or like we have a we have one of our customers, and she's like. My mom loved a certain brand of blush, and you all might know what it, but it has a really it's horrible a name. Product. And she's like, she would die every time she had to go into the makeup store and be like, I'm looking for the color, <laughs> you know? And like, you just, you, yeah, they're just names, but it's also, it's a message that the companies are pushing on us. Like they, I, we laugh all the time, like companies that market to men, wouldn't be marketing to them with the mm-hmm. message that they're marketing to us, no, right? Very different. And so why? We don't have to settle for that. Mm-hmm. Like we don't have to settle for these messages that they're sending, that we can, we can make a difference yeah. and wake up to what we are actually saying to the world, yeah. you know? So that's... That's great. I love it. <laughs> so you said your background is in microbiology. Yes. And Darcy? Marketing. Marketing. Mm-hmm. Goes okay. with the cheerleading yeah. part, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. and Hope? What is her background? She was a, and still is yeah. actually, a cosmetologist, hairstylist. Okay. Yes. So she brought, she brings so much to the table. It's, it's Absolutely. amazing. She can look at things and make things beautiful. She's so easy with putting colors together and it's been great. She's very uh, confident. She did makeup even um, for bridals well before, you know, and hair and things and styled. So she's, um, she's. She's so great. It's like well, the perfect so mix. So we've got, say we've got, got a hope bit of that understands the beauty <laughs> part of the, like the product mm-hmm. part of the industry. And, well, and even Chandler with like chemistry and understanding mm-hmm. how things work. And then me on how we can get this message out Absolutely. to women everywhere. So it's been fun. Yeah. Good team. But yeah, we're yeah. just, I think if you take anything from the story of Shine, it's that you can make a difference where you are. And like, like Chandler said, would it, would it ever have been on her radar? No, not at yeah. all. But she saw a need and she, she was inspired to do something about it. And so I hope that if anyone gets something from Shine, it's that figure out what it is. What, what need can you fulfill? Or do you have something inside of you that yearns to make a difference or to yeah. do something? You can do it. Absolutely. Like you can be a mom. I don't have a college degree. You know, like you can do it. And believe in yourself. And I really think that that's the message of the journey to shine Mm -hmm. for all of us. That's true. Being brave. Because that was, like I said, not on my radar, but also something I probably wasn't comfortable with. Hope was definitely more comfortable with hair and makeup. and So that was a challenge for me to be brave 
to put makeup on someone right? else or to like share to, the, the first time with. you're applying makeup yes, and you're like, I'm not a makeup artist. Yes, like, how do I do this? I haven't been right? trained in this. Yeah, like, this is yeah, not my you know, thing. Mixed chemicals. Like, Should've I can tell this. you about the makeup, but I don't yes. know about putting it on. And I even said that, Stacy, we have women come into the office to try makeup, and I'm like, are they judging my makeup? You know. And then, <laughs> but then I stop no. and I'm like, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Because I feel good. Yeah, I feel good about myself, and that's all that matters. Like, you know, that's really what confidence is all about. Is Owning who you are and celebrating it every day. Yeah. yeah. So, so beautiful. Yeah. Darcy, so you mentioned that you had reached out to some moms, you know, getting up in the morning, putting their courage on and all of these other great messages. Yeah. So super fun. We reached out and we said, we want to know why you shine. Like, what is it that you love about the products and the message? And does it make, does it make a difference? I guess that's part of it. So we think we're making a difference, but we, we don't really know unless we talk to them. So we reached out to some moms all over the nation and they sent in some fun videos about mm -hmm. how the message that they are um, seeing on their products is um, making a difference in their lives. So here's some of those. I feel like Shine gives women the confidence to be themselves. I love when I get ready in the morning and I have a little pep talk while I'm putting on my makeup and getting ready for the day. Like today I have, I'm adored, I have peace, honesty and I strive and those words replay in my mind through the day and help me feel a little better about myself. All of the names of the products are just incredible and I just really feel empowered. They have this product that just makes you feel so beautiful but they encourage you to really just you know be the real you and go out there and do the best that you can. I love the feeling of it. What a beautiful idea. We don't have to use makeup products that have derogatory or over-sexualized names and packaging and advertising. We can use makeup that has wholesome, positive, uplifting, powerful names. And um, I love that. I love that idea. I thought, why not? Because I am a mom of four girls, the message of shine is really important. I love what they stand for and the encouragement that they give. The sisterhood of shine is a beautiful thing. The women are kind and compassionate. So, along with my fussy children, I look forward to seeing you shine. How awesome was that? Were those real moms or what? <laughs> I mean, hashtag mom life, right? I know. <laughs> we can like all relate. The real story. <laughs> the, real, the real story behind yeah. shine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we want to ask Stacy, what does shine mean to you? What does shine mean to me? Let's see. So the community that I grew up in, you know, everyone gets married at a pretty young age. So I spent majority of my 20s single and alone. <laughs> and, you know, it's um, hard some days, right? It's harder to get out of bed in the morning. It's hard to get ready and put makeup on for no one or for another blind date, right? <laughs> that none of us want to go on. But I always found in that kind of phase... Um, if I just took a couple of minutes, like, and put some mascara and some gloss on, that I just naturally was more confident, that I naturally could walk around Target, my favorite, mm -hmm. yeah. and <laughs> smile at a stranger, because I was a little more picked up than my, you know, top knot and sweats, like mm -hmm. I normally go. Which you probably looked gorgeous in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. But I just would find that I had this, like, natural, you know, it was just bringing that out of me and I didn't even know. And then I think when you have that, that you're attracting that in return. So I'm a much more approachable person. I look like I'm ready to give you my number and target. <laughs> Whatever, you know? It's like I just, and like I just found that. Um, and then in like the awesome fun stage of my life right now where I am getting married and Yay. I can the use... The cutest, cutest guy uh, too. Well, like he is, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's great. Um, but just using my shine to really um, enhance and show, I guess, on the outside, the happiness and like love that I feel on the inside. That's and great. I think that that's just been so fun, you know, going through my makeup or putting that on for pictures or for my soon-to-be wedding day is like really exciting and can just also bring out <coughs> a confidence and a shine that I think Sorry. we all really have yeah. deep down that we just need that boost to bring it out of us. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I think about hopefully being a mom someday and I'm sure I'll have my days where you're tired or you don't have a lot of time and you're rushed 
Um, but to show our kids, I think it's really important that we care about ourselves, that we take just a second to so uh, true. put you know, yeah. put it on. I think you naturally, it's gonna make you wanna get out of the house. It's gonna make you wanna take your kids to do fun activities. And I don't know, I'm not a mom, so I'm just talking, but yeah, I feel like. Really so true. I remember, I, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but when I was uh, just a young mom, I just was, actually I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, Alyssa. And I worked with a lady and her name was Linda. My mom's name's Linda. Her daughter's name was Darcy. My name's Darcy. And it was like, the, she was like my little grandma. Like I just yeah, loved so her. She was my mom away from home, right? Mm -hmm. And she said to me when she found out I was pregnant, she says, Darcy, you, ha you have to promise me one thing. You will get ready every day. Don't let yourself go. She's like, you will start to lose your identity. Yeah. When, you, when you let yourself go, you'll lose who you are. And it's important, just exactly what you said, it's important for your kids to see you care enough about yourself yeah. to put a little bit of time into yourself in the morning. And they will be okay, yeah. but your marriage will be better. You will be a better mom because you just naturally feel better. Yeah. So it's so true. Mm -hmm. But we all relate. Like, it's hard. Your <laughs> diapers and dishes, and I mean, it's... It's yeah, hard. and you're like, I'm like, doing laundry all day. Yeah, yeah why would I, I waste yeah. mascara? <laughs> right. I what might I get my eyeliner perfect today. Yeah. Why would I ever want to waste that? Like, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, like, true. but then, then you're like, oh, I'm going to Target. I'm right? Right? Doing <laughs> the laundry. I'm like, yeah. oh, let's go show someone your perfect yeah. eyeliner. Yeah, exactly. Today. Like, I'm not wasting <laughs> this face. Yeah. Yes. So, That's anyways, good. sorry. So, something that I always think about is just like, you know, whether you're in that single phase of life and you're struggling to go on those blind dates, or mm -hmm. you're getting married and it's really exciting and fun, or you are that busy mom, I just think that there is one common factor is how we can use our makeup to really um, enhance our natural beauty, right. you know, and most importantly, bring out that confidence that is so empowering for women, and I just love that about it. Yes, too. I'm glad you love our message, because it Absolutely. means a lot. It's been a really fun journey. Yeah. I'm just grateful to be a part of it, and then I found it. <laughs> Okay, so first I just want to start by saying that I am by no means a professional. Uh, just a girl that loves makeup, I love the Shine products, and um, was lucky enough I had an amazing job in Las Vegas. I worked for Cirque du Soleil. So every night I got to basically paint my face on. And through doing that I learned a ton of tips and tricks. So some I just would love to share with you. Today I'm going to show you guys a simple, easy, five minute face. Okay, so for this five minute face, I like to just pick three things that I can really focus on. So I'm gonna pick just something that's gonna make my eyes pop, um, a highlight, and a lip gloss. Because I feel like when you give your face different textures, it's gonna give you some dimension, um, really make things shine. Let's see, I'm gonna start with the BB cream. I use the color Indestructible. I'm gonna put that all over. I like to just put it right here on my hand. Probably not the best way to do it, but I've also seen people just put it right on their face from the tube. One of my favorite things about the BB cream is that it has coverage, but it's not thick and it's not going to cover all of my freckles. I like to have those showing. Um, it also goes on with a nice shine and then dries a really awesome powder finish so you don't look sticky. It's not going to get all over your clothes. You can try on clothes. You can hold your kids, whatever you need to do. So I just put a really thin coat. I usually like to go over my eyelids, cover some of those veins or redness that shows through. Just a really soft layer. Okay, and I always, I'm the queen of using Awaken for a highlight. I love to cover those bags under my eyes. And also just add a little definition to my cheeks or to the bridge of my nose or right here on my chin. So you can see I barely use any product. To go right here over my nose. Right here and here. 
Anything I have left over, I'll just help to find those cheeks just a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna cover all of that with powder. Again, the color that I use is indestructible. So you have that nice powder finish and I am gonna go now with my bronzer. I use the color Power. And I'm just gonna go up that cheekbone. Take that and outline my face. Normally when I'm doing makeup for an event or to go out at night, I like to also add a contour um, in the BB cream. I'll use like a darker version, but today since we're just keeping it easy, I'm just gonna go over those spots with my bronzer. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna focus on a highlight. So today I'm gonna use actually Harmony, which has a nice like pink shimmer. So it's gonna double as my blush. So you're getting two in one. Who doesn't love that? I'm gonna go right here above the bridge of my cheek. And you can tell the difference. Again, I'll go down the bridge of my nose and chin right here as well. Right. One of the last things I'm gonna do, I'm kind of a cheater, so I have lashes on right now, but even if I didn't have lashes, I just like to add a little bit of the black eyeliner to the bottom lash line. This is gonna make the whites of your eyes really pop. So I just do a really thin layer and you can tell that really makes the whites of your eyes pop. And then with the mascara, I am just actually going to use the first step. So these are steps one and three. And since I'm only doing it on the bottom, And if I didn't have lashes, I would just do a really thin layer, one layer of this as well. Okay, so we did the pop of the eye, we have a highlight, and I'm gonna finish this look with Dedicated. It's one of my favorite lip glosses. It has a little bit more pigment in it, so the color is a little stronger. But it's just gonna give the, my lips just that shine. Okay, just like that. Seriously, five minutes, so easy. Remember, pick three things. Pop your eyes, highlight your cheekbones, gloss on your lips, you're ready to go. We had so much fun today. Thank you guys for joining us here at the I Am Mom Summit with Shine Cosmetics. Like Darcy said, we love to hear from you guys. We absolutely love this community and we love talking to other moms. So if you wanna find us, you can find us at Shine Cosmetics Corporate on Instagram or Shine Cosmetics on Facebook or shinecosmetics.com. Before we go, I just have one shine challenge for all of you moms out there. Go look inside your makeup bag and see what messages are you supporting.